Hey guys, and welcome to another quick Pi video. In this video, I'm going to go over how to connect your Sauna 4 channel or Sauna 4 channel Pro to Apple HomeKit. The prerequisites are that you have Hapdash Node.js installed and as well as you have the Tismoda firmware running on your Sauna device. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go into the Hapdash Node.js folder. Now you want to run the installation command. The command is curl space dash lowercase s capital S capital L space go.gl slash capital L one lowercase u lowercase r capital W capital W space bar space sudo bash and just click enter. This is going to start the installation process here. I've sped it up a bit, but on your Raspberry Pi, it could take anywhere from one to three minutes. So just give it some time. Once it's done, you're going to be greeted back with the command prompt. The next thing you want to do is go into the accessories folder using CD accessories, run the LS command, and you should see your four accessory files that have been newly added. Your view might be a bit different depending on what accessory files you have, but if these four are visible, that means you have installed it successfully and the files have successfully installed as well. So the next command you want to run is host namespace dash capital I, click enter. This gives you the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. Write down the IPv4 address. Next, go to your browser and open the web page of your Sonoff. So you should have the IP address already. Go into the configuration tab, configure MQTT, and where it says host, write down the address we just found from the hostname i command. So in my case, it was 10.0.1.127. Once you've done that, look at the topic line. Uh, by default, you might have something else, but set this to a unique word so it could be bedroom sawn off or something like that. But make sure it's a one word. So in my case, I'm just setting it to one word sawn off for channel pro. Click save. Safari might ask you about password. Just click not now. Wait a few seconds and then just click the main menu button. So there you can see the sawn off is back. Click on console. And now you should start seeing that uh, there's uh, messages about info and stuff like that. And you can see how it's communicating. That means it's all working properly and it's communicating with the MQTT server. So now we can go back to the main menu and now we know that the sawn off is working. So now back at our Raspberry Pi, we're going to edit the accessory files to point to our new sawn off. So now you want to run the command sudo nano sawn off for channel one underscore accessory dot js. Make sure you match the case or else it won't open the file. Click enter. Now you're greeted with the accessory file. Scroll down to the MQTT underscore name line and change that to the topic word we set it. So in my case, I set it to sauna for channel pro, but if you set it to bedroom or something like that, you can change that. This is for the first relay, so you can set the name of the first relay. So you can set it to bedroom one or something like that. But in my case, I'm just going to make it sawn off for channel one. Use control X and then Y to save the file. Click enter. You want to do the same thing to the second accessory file, sudo nana for channel two underscore accessory dot js. Come down to the var mqtt underscore name and you want to change that to the topic just like the previous file. So in my case, I just added a Sauna 4 Channel Pro. You can save the file, change anything else. And you want to do this for both number three. So here I open three, changing the MQTT name. I set the MQTT name, save the file. And you want to do that with the fourth one as well. adding the pro at the end. Then you can save the files and click enter. Now you run the command cd space dot dot. This will take us to the main hapdash node.js folder and we can run the core or bridged core.js. So I recommend using bridged core.js as you have multiple accessories and it will communicate better and you'll have less latency. So once you've run sudo node bridged core.js, it's now active and your iPhone can detect it in the home app. So in the next video now, I'm going to show you how to pair with the 
new bridged core.js which has your sawn off bridge code in it. Okay, so now I'm on the home app in my iPhone. So just click add accessory, then click don't have a code or can't scan, and you should see your node bridge if you'd used a bridged core.js. Just click add anyway and enter the code 03145154. It's going to say adding node bridge. It's going to give you the blue check mark. And now you can just click next through these. And now it's going to walk you through your accessories. So it's here's my outlet 2, outlet 3, outlet 4, and the 4 channel 1 that I named manually. And now you have your 4 relays in control. So if you click on them, you can turn on both of them. So here I've turned on my 1, 3, 2, and 4, and you can see vice versa I'm turning them on. And when you click the button on your sauna to turn them off, the status will update in HomeKit as well. So it's not going to be on in HomeKit and off on your sauna. They're both synced. And now you can play around with these, figure out how you like it. You can change the names. You can even change the icon of each outlet to reflect the lighter fan or something like that if you explore in the Home app. So that's pretty much it for this video. Guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you're new to my hap-node.js videos, you might want this to automatically start when you restart your Raspberry Pi. In the description below, I'll have a link to the forever tutorial so that everything will start up as soon as you reboot your Raspberry Pi all automatically, no intervention required. Once again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more content.